we'll discuss physical properties of phenols. Phenols are actually, if you take simple phenols, simple phenols, these simple phenols are colorless liquids, a colorless liquids, colorless liquids, colorless liquids or low melting solids, a low melting solids, low melting solids. On long standing, they develop color. On long standing, अगर हमको बहुत देर तक रखेंगे, long standing they develop या they acquire color, color. For example, reddish or pink. This, what is the reason for this? Why they develop color on long standing? It is because it is due to oxidation. It is due to process oxidation, due to oxidation. Boiling points. Boiling points. Very important property, boiling point is of phenols. Boiling point. Phenols. <coughs> So if we take simple phenols, I will discuss We will discuss physical properties of phenols. If we take simple phenols, simple phenols, these simple phenols are colorless liquids or low melting, in a low melting point, so when you are in low melting solids, solid is same, but with a low melting point, low melting solids, on long standing, agar on long standing, on long standing, they develop color. They develop color. They develop color like reddish or pink. Any they develop reddish color or pink color. Why they develop color on long standing? Simple answer due to oxidation. Unko oxidation hota hai. So, because of oxidation, they develop color. Now, we'll discuss boiling point. Very important physical property that is boiling point.
So boiling point, these phenols have higher boiling points. In the higher boiling points, with the higher boiling points, then the corresponding, jo in the corresponding, the arenas, with the arenas corresponding. Areas of comparable molecular mass, Jinka mass and comparable molecular mass, comparable molecular mass. In a phenolus, the boiling point is higher than then the corresponding areas of comparable molecular mass. Why so? This is due to, this reason is due to. Intermolecular, intermolecular hydrogen bonding. In my good day, phenols may intermolecular hydrogen bonding. We know that hydrogen bonding affects boiling points. For example, if I take phenol, simple phenol, this is phenol, it is boiling point is 455 Kelvin, it is boiling point. If we take benzene, this is benzene, this is corresponding arena of comparable molecular mass, it is boiling point is 353 Kelvin. So if I take toluene, it is boiling point is 384 Kelvin. It's a boiling point is 348 Kelvin. So why these phenols have higher boiling point is then these corresponding uh, arenas of aromatic uh, hydrocarbons of comparable molecular mass this is due to intermolecular hydrogen binding because in my book the intermolecular hydrogen binding I will show here intermolecular hydrogen binding the hydrogen binding between two different molecules this is OH this is one more phenol molecule this is OH so this has slightly negative, slightly positive charge, slightly negative, slightly positive charge. This is hydrogen bond. This is hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bond. So this was about important property of boiling point. Now we have solubility. Very important property, physical property that is solubility of phenols in water so solubility the phenols and these are slightly soluble in water is slightly soluble in water slip 9 grams hai per 100 grams in a now gram hai sao gram hai slip now gram hai uh, dissolve with the phenol. Most of the phenols are fatally insoluble. Most of the phenols. Jo jata phenols hain, wo hote hain insoluble. Practically, phenols are practically insoluble in water. Ab, what is the what is the explanation for this limited solubility? Why they have limited solubility? So let us explain this. This limited solubility of phenol is. We know that phenol, jo hai, if I take this phenol, it contains a polar cohesion group. It's my polar cohesion group. Hota hai, which contains, this functional group OH contains two lone pairs on oxygen, two unshared pairs of electrons on oxygen. These, uh, the presence of these two pairs of electrons on oxygen atom of the OH group permit this hydrogen bonding. This is what it is, this is what phenol permit hydrogen bonding. This is what hydrogen bond develop ho sakti hai. Because of the presence of these two lone pairs on oxygen, uh, this phenol has a tendency to uh, form hydrogen bonding. Uh, between hydrogen bonding, between water and any uh, with water molecule that means this uh, the lone pair of these 
the lone pairs, the presence of lone pairs on oxygen, the presence of unsure pairs by uh, electrons on oxygen, permit is hydrogen bonding between phenol and water. So due to hydrogen bonding with water, it tends to dissolve in water. In hydrogen bonding, say, this tendency is to dissolve in water. In a water may dissolve hota hai due to this hydrogen bonding with water. अब एक और बात है जो बेंजीन रिंग होता है इस फिनाल जो बेंजीन रिंग है इट इज हाइड्रोफोबिक ये हाइड्रोफोबिक है हाइड्रोफोबिक का मतलब है इट इज वाटर हेटिंग ये वाटर हेटिंग है यानी इट टेंड जो बेंजीन रिंग है इट टेंडस टू ये क्या करता है इट टेंडस टू मेक फिनॉल इन सॉल्यूबल वाटर ये करता है इसकी टेंडेंसी होती है कि ये फिनॉल को वाटर में इन सॉल्यूबल बनाता है दिस बेंजीन रिंग दैट दैट मींस पोलर ग्रुप ऑफ हाइड्रोक्सा ओ एच ग्रुप उसको uh, उसकी यानी उसको करता है वाटर में सॉल्यूबल बनाता है और जो बेंजीन रिंग है ये बनाता है दिस फिनॉल को इन सॉल्यूबल वाटर एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दीस टू अपोजिंग फोर्सेस यानी जो ये टू अपोजिंग फोर्सेस है दीस टू अपोजिंग फैक्टर जो है one makes the phenol soluble in water and one makes the uh, phenol insoluble in water these two opposing factors and as a result of these two opposing factors phenol show limited solubility and because of the effect of these two opposing factors phenol show limited limited solubility isliye wo limited solubility dikhate hain ये लिमिटेड सॉल्यूबल दिखाई दे सो यहां पर हम देखा सकते हैं वाटर ये हेड इन बॉन्ड है यहां पर बिटवीन फिनॉल एंड वाटर मॉलिक्यूल हेड इन बॉन्ड नाउ दीस फिनॉल्स आर दे आर टॉक्सिक ये टॉक्सिक होते हैं अगर हम इनकी जो डायल्यूट सोल्यूशन समटाइम्स इनकी हम डायल्यूट सोल्यूशन यूज करते हैं एज एज इफेक्टिव एंटीसेप्टिक्स यानी इफेक्टिव एंटीसेप्टिक्स हम इस्तेमाल करते हैं दीज बिकॉज ऑफ देयर टॉक्सिक नेचर सो अब हमारे पास सबस्ट्यूट फिनॉल्स होते हैं सबस्ट्यूट फिनॉल्स अगर हमारे पास होंगे दिस इज अ सबस्ट्यूट फिनॉल दिस इज सबस्ट्यूट फिनॉल This is nitrophenol, ortho nitrophenol, hey, ortho nitrophenol. Substitute phenol. If we have one more phenol, this is this is para nitrophenol. The pi para nitrophenol. Hey, this ortho nitrophenol, jo hai, it is a, it has a tendency to form in Tra molecule and hydrogen bonding. That means hydrogen bonding within the molecule between the groups uh, attached to the attached to the benzene ring. So, ye bana sakte hain. Kinaan se to form the intra molecule hydrogen bonding hai. This is intra molecule hydrogen bonding. Intra molecular hydrogen bonding. Ye kar sakta hai. Ortho nitro final. Uska matlab hai the the hydrogen bonding within the molecule within the molecule intra molecule. अब जो पैरा है और मेटा दे कैन अंडर गो इंटर माइल्यूलर डिफरेंट माइल्यूल सो दिस इज दिस इज एन डबल बॉन्ड ओ दिस इज लाइक दिस सो यहां पर ये सिलाई डी नेगेटिव सो यहां पर ये बना सकते हैं हाइड्रोजन सो दिस इज इन इंटर माइल्यूल हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग इंटर molecular hydrogen bonding so here if we have substituted phenols for example we have nitrophenol ortho nitrophenol and para nitrophenol ye para nitrophenol hai para nitrophenol these substituted phenols can form both uh, types of hydrogen bonding that means intra molecular and intra molecular ortho nitrophenol Can form that can that that can undergo intra molecular hydrogen bonding, 
and to paranitrophenolate that can undergo intermolecular hydrogen bonding.